Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to put on the blower, the governor, and the um, oil cooler. Uh, we'll see if we can get it all done in this video, and if not, I'll just split it up into smaller packages. Um, so all I've been doing while you guys have been gone are just cleaning parts. So um, I've cleaned up all the gasket surfaces for the blower and for the governor and oil cooler, etc. So here's the, the, that's the old blower off the engine. That's a natural blower. And then this one is a, um, a bypass blower. So this is off a of sil silver series. And then this actuator bypasses the blower. So as soon as the blower uh, senses six PSI, uh, it opens this valve and then it equalizes the pressure on both sides of the rotors and therefore they, they're just coasting. So uh, I've cleaned it up. I didn't rebuild it. It's a, a takeoff, good takeoff unit. So we'll run it and if it needs to be rebuilt, we'll rebuild it. But um, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time overhauling that at the moment. Uh, it was a good running unit apparently, so we'll, we'll see. If not, I'll order a kit and overhaul it. So all I've done to that is just clean it up, inspect it, make sure it's uh, usable. Uh, the only other thing I did, I put the um, exhaust manifold on. I haven't torqued it down yet. I've just snugged it up just to uh, keep the dirt out. And this is a nice little unit. It's got a 3M sticky on the back of it, on this gasket, so it's not a real bear to put on. Put a new gasket on both sides. get this on without getting that gasket come out. On the, the 453, that was a real bear to get this on with that gasket. But I ended up using some 3M cement. And I fixed it. Get these bolts in. Get that all organized. So I just throw those in. I haven't tightened them up. 
Again, check the backlash on your, your drive. It should be three to seven thousandths. Again, I, same with the governor. I just check and there's about four or five. It's very little, so as long as you got a little bit of backlash, you're, you're good to go. So there's the blower gears up against the uh, camshaft gear. I just want to check for backlash. I hope that picks it up. A little bit of play there, about four or five thou. As long as you have some and not excessive amounts, you're okay. We're going to run with that one. Together. <clears throat> Almost. Not much further to go now. So this blower, being a silver blower, has that bypass and that saves on a 453, saves about 7 horsepower, so maybe it might save maybe 5 horsepower in something like this. So on my um, 453 T I made my own bypass. I used a natural blower and then built my own bypass and I have that one opening at 10 psi which works perfect so I kind of just snug those up a little bit and then go look at the book for torque values So it's 25 psi. Okay, that's the blower torque down. Okay, we've got the governor ready to go on. We've uh, put the gasket on, lubed up the, the drive gear on it, and it's ready to install. I took the uh, inspection cover off the air box just to aid putting the governor on. It makes it a lot easier. Also put the control rod in as well first before putting the, the governor on. Makes it a lot easier installing it. There we go. Okay.
So these are 35 foot pounds. I'm going to go and get a 12.38 a to finish torquing these to 35. Because I don't have one, so. There you have it guys, that's the, the governor bolted on. And now we just need to hook up the linkage for the rack and everything. I'm gonna modify the rack to a uh, spring rack. Okay, the governor's in now, so all I've gotta do is check the backlash and uh, hook up this oil line. And the um, blower's in as well. And next, uh, the next video is the oil cooler. And then we can work on the overhead, put the um, control rack in and uh, the injectors and whatnot. What I'm going to do for this is going to change I'm gonna change the rack to a safety rack. So you see that springs back like that. So that's it in case one injector. Um, sticks, the other two are free, and the rack will still move with a, a stuck injector. The old style rack has the two screws, and if you got a stuck injector on one arm, they're all stuck. So it's just a safety precaution that I'm going to take. So that's what we'll do. We'll just I'll bring you along for that. I've just got to modify this tube slightly to accept the new rack fingers, I guess you call them. <clears throat> so that's uh, the next video, guys. So thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and liking the videos. And stay tuned for the next uh, episode. Almost ready to start now. Take care.